How adjustable is IPD on the Quest 3? Uh, same way that you adjusted it with the Quest 2, it's a slider uh, within, the, within the headset itself. I believe it's got a slightly wider uh, formal IPD range. I think it goes all the way up to 74 on the top end. There's a couple of people on Reddit were writing me back. I need to look that up, but I, I'm, in the, I'm in the sweet middle, so uh, I'm a 64, which is kind of like born for VR, but you know I was. Um, <laughs> and separate to that, I would say that the uh, not just the IPD that matters, the clarity on the lens, because it's a pancake lens, is like, feels like a double improvement over Quest 2. Like, there's no reflections. There's no god rays. Uh, there's no concentric circles that you see when you get your eye close. The sweet spot is absolutely huge. Like, I could be an inch off the center, and um, I would still have a clear view, like, perfectly clear view. It doesn't, like, deviate across the lens. So, honestly, the lens tech is very impressive, super sharp, and I think more than anything, when you play old stuff, you're going to notice it. You're going to see, you know, like, old washed-out textures or things that aren't the right resolution or aliasing uh, on an older title. So as developers make use of those new optics, it's really going to be a phenomenal upgrade, uh, especially with the new CPU and RAM. 